What's going on YouTube? It's ODB of T2S Airsoft and today we're here to do a custom stipple on a high kappa. So here I have a dynamic precision sculptor grip. So as you can see, there is no markings, no stipple whatsoever. And for those of you that don't know what a stipple is, you see how this is blank. The stippling would be the design, you know, on the pistol grip itself. This stipple helps you grip the gun. So you can see we've got three different kinds of stipple here. The stock stipple on a Tokyo Marui High Kappa is really nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's iconic. When you see it on someone's pistol, you're like, yeah, that's a High Kappa. That's a Tokyo Marui High Kappa. I love the aspect of, you know, being able to have some originality in Airsoft. So what I wanted to do is, is create my own design and you know see how that goes so another reason that i chose the dynamic precision sculptor grip honestly it doesn't have to be dynamic precision it could be whatever brand you find you know there's a lot of stuff on the market right now and it ranges from like ten dollars to 24 but i went with this just because when i was shopping it, it was just you know on the same website so i just threw it on the cart but one of the reasons i chose this one specifically is i don't know if you guys can see it but the cuts underneath it actually really helps you get tucked into the gun i mean if you're using a gas blowback pistol like when you're using the high kappa it's possible that it could throw off your aim so i kind of like to get really tucked in on my gun you can see it on you know my war daddy the cuts right there really allows me to sink my fingers into it and then with the other hand right underneath that cut right there so that's one of the reasons i chose this one if you look at the you know regular high kappa it's just straight and there's nothing wrong with that but again i like to have my hands really seated in there it doesn't matter what soldering iron you use but depending on your design what matters is the tips that it comes with The tips matters because this is what's essentially, you know, melting into your polymer grip. So depending on what you're doing, like me, I'm doing the starburst pattern. I'm going to be using this flathead right over there. Let me take it out so you guys can get a better look. As you can see, it's just a straight line compared to these. These are more like pointy or rounded edges. I'm going to be using this because it'll make it a lot easier for me when I'm doing the starburst pattern. Starburst pattern, for those of you that don't know, is, is imagine like a, a sun exploding and it's just <clears throat> lines going in different angles. So again, doesn't matter what uh, soldering iron you have. This was gifted to me and I'm, I'm almost certain the person who gifted it to me got it on Amazon, like 30 bucks. It's not, not too expensive. So. Let's get into stippling. One of the keys to making a really good design is consistency. You want to use the same amount of pressure on each stroke and you want to follow through however you need to, again, depending on what design you're using. As I was soldering this, I was getting a lot of funny smells in my nose. So, you know, just an additional tip of safety. Again, you should probably use gloves, but I want to get a better grip on what I'm doing. But the most important part, I think, is uh, putting on a mask. This is where we're at right now. We're pretty much halfway done with it. I'm really liking the way that it came out. Uh, you guys can see the design. Putting it in my hand, you know, acting like I'm actually holding a pistol. The grip feels great, and that's something that I really wanted, just to have more stability when the gun is in my hand. Halfway there, so let's keep going. All right, so after, 
want to say three hours of stippling this is the finished product i'm very happy with it um uh, i don't know if i mentioned this before but this is actually the first time i've ever done my own custom stippling as far as the starburst pattern it doesn't look how i thought it would but the design is, is very simple and I actually really like the way it came out. Fits great in my fingers. Again, with the cuts and everything, it just, once I put this on an actual pistol, I feel like it's, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you guys think. This was my first time doing a custom stipple. You know, I think it came out pretty good, but I wanna hear what you guys think. So let me know. I'm trying to see if my trace is on. Got your back, got your back. I want to bring awareness to Airsoft on the East Coast. I would love to enjoy playing this game competitively. And right now, the only competitive scene on the East Coast is down in Georgia and SS Airsoft. No fucking way, bro. I'm wondering why it's not up here already, because I feel like, you know, I go to my local fields and there's a, a big enough speed soft, speed QB scene that we should be able to get something. Else. You got the seizure mode? Yeah, you gotta double tap it. Oh. Gotta be quick. Yeah, you got it. Oh, that's crazy. You know, one of the things I wanna do is use this platform to just expand the knowledge and try to get SpeedQB on the East Coast. But ultimately, I'm here to have fun. So thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been ODB of T2S Airsoft, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.